morning guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here um like comment and subscribe my name is debbie i do lifestyle stuff so today is a saturday and i just got off the shower i thought i'd pick you guys up because so what we're going to be doing today is just like getting back to the gym and got a couple errands to run as well and just trying to figure out my life it's the weekend y'all know how it goes just like gathering myself back from the week so yesterday what you would have seen quite an interesting day work-wise um i had an event so i got up like really early because i still had a report to because that's a life bro like it's giving booked and busy a lot these days so i had um a report due that day so i woke up like super early in the morning to like get that done and then had to skip to the event slash breakfast meeting sort of thing so i had to be there for 7 30 which was ridiculous but i made it and then afterwards had to like rush back to the office take a couple meetings um submit the report and all that good stuff so all went well but it just kind of like took a lot out of me like i couldn't really um pick up the camera and like salute you guys so here i am the day after and yeah just had some breakfast y'all know how that goes so now i'm just about to get dressed for the gym because hey hey, hey. i said i said i was gonna get my body back in may so good june and i've only i didn't go to the gym not once in may i think i went twice as opposed to like my normal gym split so now we're gonna say it again like repeat and let's try let's try this again guys so i'm getting ready to like go to the gym and it's not gonna be anything serious today i don't really have like a set routine i'm trying to work i usually would do legs on a saturday but because like my whole body is just stiff i'm gonna have to freestyle see what like feels good and stuff but um what i was planning to do this week though as i'm like getting into it is perhaps like do a week of workouts maybe just to hold me accountable because that's where you guys help me like when i'm like not like i'm doing things for the vlog but because i'm like oh i should be doing this and i need to be like showing these people that i'm like holding myself accountable you guys just keep me on track because then when i do stuff for y'all i'm actually doing stuff for myself that i had meant to do in the first place so mwah, i love you guys um anyways i'm about to figure out what i'm finna wear and i got some stuff that actually <sighs> oops i want to go through uh, so let's actually do a little bit of a try on haul um i got some you know like i said i'm trying to get like back into the swing of things so i definitely got like some new gym fits because that is definitely a motivator definitely a motivator for me so um yeah i think let me set you guys up and let me try the stuff on and see what's good okay Right, you guys so first things first i got this it wasn't a set it was individuals but i got them in the same color um this is superbalist and the color is element blue so i got this bra top which is um cross at the back which i just think is so cute and these leggings are also element blue uh, full length and yeah guys i'm super happy with this i love this oh my gosh you guys oh oh and then i also got um a long sleeve top in the same color so I orchestrated a three-piece set and I am absolutely in love. I'm absolutely in love. It's buttery soft. Look how long the sleeves are and the color matches perfectly. So I got myself 
a cute set you guys and i love it i absolutely love it so i got the same top in like a brown color as well let me just show you guys that quickly i uh, got it with in this chocolate color so this is gonna go well with my um with my nude sets so i've got a couple of nude sets and as you see by like the packaging that it is body ultra soft oh guys it really it feels good to move it really does feel amazing so that's the stuff don't mind this this is from a very old okay no so it's super cute but i'll definitely be wearing something else today because it is quite warm outside for my workout so let's do that so yeah y'all i am all dressed just to go over the fit i've got I actually settled on the blue the element blue set with a jean jacket and my indies and i'm just gonna bring in some extra stuff for after the gym so like an extra top um oh um I'll also definitely be including what I'm eating for the day. So I think on that subject, I gotta take my vitamins. Uh, like I said, I'm just not doing anything special this month. So just my normal uh, women's and then also my probiotics. So I'm using Colon Care. I know at Clix I bought um pro b flora but then i actually realized when i got home that my mom had also gotten me these and i actually just prefer these so colon care if you can find it anywhere but yeah guys what time is it it's 10 49 okay great um it's time to go uh we wanted to we want to actually go and get some protein because I've run out of protein. So we want to go past gym junkies, get some protein, and then head to the gym. So I'm going to fix to be back home um, around around 1 o'clock. So let's get going.
am back from the gym. Um, I just, my phone died, so I had to get that charged up while I was just like taking out some laundry. I changed into my um, long sleeve top that I was showing you guys earlier. I just absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, now I am fixing just to get something to eat. I've already had my protein shake. Um, my phone was off, so I couldn't show you guys that. Let me bring y'all closer. So first, I uh, also want to show you guys what I got from Jim J's, Jim Junkies. Um, so it is a vegan protein that I take. Um, I chose a new flavor, so I'm looking forward to it. Actually, I did have it just now, and it's not that bad at all, so that's fine. And then, here's an interesting thing that I got. I got CMOS gummies. So I've always wanted to uh, try CMOS. Apparently, it's life-changing. So I'm super excited that I found that there. They have a lot of cool stuff like if you're into um you know wellness trends and let me see if i can't but yeah they've got a lot of cool stuff you guys if you're into just like wellness trends and um you know trying out different things so i'm into that stuff like a whole lot I do have to be careful though, so I'm praying on these that they are actually compatible with my body because I've got like a very sensitive stomach, so um, I'm hoping I'm not doing anything harmful to myself, but I'll take it slow. Um, it says here two gummies per day, but obviously I'll just start with one and then see how it treats me. But it's supposed to be like a thyroid boost, immunity support, anti-aging, weight loss, strengthens joints, detox cleanse, like wow. What doesn't this do, hey? So it's got um, bladder whack, Irish sea moss, organic burdock root and apple cider vinegar. Not sure what any of that stuff is, but I have been looking into sea moss in general, so I'm excited to try it. So, um, because I'm exhausted, I'm just literally trying to figure out what to eat and i'm going to raid the fridge for all the leftovers i found some veg um yeah don't worry i'm gonna finesse this kfc i'm not really trying to do that to myself but i think i'll just take like the white meat and remove the skin so that's the plan that's the plan for lunch and then I think we're just going to chill out and rest. I'm trying to take out these braids. Today, I know I just got them in literally the other vlog, but I'm over it. I'm over it. And it's nothing that she did wrong. Like, it's nothing that she did wrong. It's just I've realized that uh, cornrows for natural hair mm, doesn't work. And because I don't use any um, heat on my hair, like I just braid straight up, fill it, it's not, mm, it's got like it sticks out type of thing. And she couldn't really trim it because we had already trimmed my ends and she was like, mm -mm, I'm cutting too much. I'm like, yeah. So yeah, with, with cornrows, you just gotta be careful. You need to blow out your hair. Gansi, I don't use heat on my hair. I haven't used heat on my hair for like the past, um two years because it had like really bad heat damage so in the process of growing my hair out i wanted to make sure that it's the healthiest that um it can be so yeah we're gonna take these out and um wash it out and the reason i'm so excited is i got um some special products to do it with so i'm excited to do that i think let's get something to eat and then We'll sort this hair out.
so I'm back and it's time to get this hair together and I'm so excited because I got my first PR pack and I just wanted to say thank you so much for Bees Organics for gifting me this hair care pack um, I'm gonna be using this to get my hair together I've actually been on Bees Organics, um, her hair oil for the longest time, but this is my first time experiencing her pack and it's just so gorgeous guys. So it comes with um, the hair growth oil. Like I said, I've been using this and it's been literally a game changer in terms of just um, maintaining my length and the strength of my hair. And there's the hair growth spray as well and nourishing um, hair and body butter with shea butter. So I'm so excited, you guys. And it's coming with instructions as well. If you know anything about natural hair, the technique is more than anything what's important. So she goes through the LCO moisturizing method, whereby you will use the hairspray first to spray the hair and then go in with the butter and then go in with the hair growth oil. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So the hair care kits are available for order. I will link the details down below for sure, but the hair growth oil is available at selected salons. If you're in Manzini, then Fifi's Hair Boutique carries it as well as the Cherry House where I did my nails the last vlog. All the products and the ingredients are locally sourced and made. It's proudly Swazi, which makes me so happy. So do support your local SMEs, guys. You guys i am back um i just washed my hair in my braids i don't know if that's a strategy that's going to work but all i know is i'm way too lazy like to do the whole detangling and manage like all that hair so i just washed it in the braids i'm hoping it will be fine i'm hoping it's clean um and now i'm gonna go in with this hair growth spray so this is made from um clove water and rice water fermented rice water and clove water um for longer and stronger hair and it's the first step in the lco method and i have heard so many good things about rice water you guys for your hair health so i think the ingredients just make a whole lot of sense and i'm just spraying that in to my hair it smells incredible as well like that's cloves for you like cloves smell so nice it smells really wintry you know what i mean because cloves do have that um you know comforting wintry smell so yeah just spraying that in there and then now i'm going in with the share and body butter so this has share butter vitamin e tea tree oil essential oils um just and she makes these things like all herself you guys so i think it's amazing um it is incredible in terms of texture really light not really heavy at all because you know how shea butter is just impossible to get into but this is very um light airy like it's got like a whipped uh, texture sort of thing and it's got oil oils and stuff mixed into it so i'm just going over my hair with that i um, making sure to get it in to the ends um and i just hope i'm not wasting these things guys i hope it's not like sitting on the extensions i really hope like my hair is getting it but it's fine I also just didn't want to take what I really wanted, actually, what I really wanted. And this is the last step um, with the oil. So the oils, um, just to confirm, it's Jamaican black castor oil, coconut oil, menthol, peperia, um, shea butter as well in here. Now, this is my favorite oil, you guys. It is my literal favorite oil. And I've actually been using her oil for years now, um, like two years. She really has helped me. Like her oil really has helped me to retain um, my hair length and just have it grow at like a million miles per hour. 
um i went from that i'll try and put like some old photos of my hair um on the screen so yeah guys she just makes natural hair just seem so much fun like her name is blessing and if you were to see her her hair is humongous so i know that she don't lie child i know that her shit is legit and actually like trying it out my hair is just gorgeous like i know i've got good hair <laughs> um but long as you treat it well it treats you well as as well um i'm just gonna go over the top as well with this just to lock it in now i'm leaving it in the braids just to dry out a little bit because i suffer from a lot of shrinkage so if i were to take the braids out now um i wouldn't really get much going on from a styling perspective so i kind of want to leave it in yeah i'm gonna leave my hair in you guys and i'll actually only take it out maybe first thing tomorrow morning and yeah i think what we're gonna get up to next um i might head out uh to pick and pay and hi-fi corp i wanted to pick up some flour actually i need to find out what we're trying to do for dinner because if we're trying to cook then maybe i'll head out for um quick groceries for that but otherwise we're just gonna chill for the rest of the day and yeah just play it by ear enjoy the saturday it's so silent outside guys it's so quiet and i just love it i love being just like in the house not really having anything to do i absolutely adore that so i've just been getting through um some laundry snacking here and there watching youtubes here and there really just taking it easy i'm having a really restful weekend and i'm so glad because yeah the weeks the weeks are going the weeks go in on a girly hey um so yeah i think let's just chill and play it by ear you know what yeah i'm not saying i gotta chill i gotta edit i gotta edit so i'm just gonna get up to some editing for the rest of the day yeah good morning you guys um the time is seven i got up at six actually and won't he do it because i had actually forgotten to set an alarm <laughs> so honestly the grace of god sometimes will amaze you but as you can see i've already started taking down my hair so um i think i'll just continue doing that and maybe like a load of laundry and i'll check back in with you guys when i am done but here's what the length is looking like oh which i love and yeah it feels clean it feels really good really soft um and it feels clean all the way through so i'm very very happy about that and i was able because of the lines i was able to get to my scalp and really moisturize my scalp so i think i'm glad that i washed it in the braids instead of taking the braids out first because it's definitely just much easier hey guys so something came up and we ended up just attending the online service for church so i just actually decided to go in 
um, with the whole hog and put my hair in like a deep conditioner. Like when it came out of the braids, like it was fine, but I still felt like, ah, uh, you know what? I might as well just like go in, put it in a deep conditioner and detangle it properly. Um, I think what I'm going to have this week is I'm going to ask my sister to put some flat twists in it. Um, and I'm just going to have like my wigs and stuff because yikes, having my hair out in winter is just not the vibe. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like and what the lengths really be looking like because y'all know how shrinkage goes. And yeah, yesterday, because I washed it yesterday, all I did today was just like rinse it out and put um, the deep conditioner in. So y'all didn't miss too much, but I'm just going to like carry on detangling this and then uh, go in with my Bees Organics pack and then put some flat twists in. So that is my Sunday afternoon, guys. so i got my flat twist done by my little sister and then i just felt like chilling outside and reading a bit just being like out in nature and stuff so i just sat outside getting some sun i did put some sunscreen don't worry i put some sunscreen on um and i just sat outside like reading my book and it just got me thinking um just about something i wanted to talk about in terms of like this weekend i've had a great weekend such a restful weekend and it's like you know this question of balance like how do you achieve balance in your life you know especially being in corporate and being just like a high performing um individual or um person in the corporate sphere it is kind of rigid and it's always like there's no modicum of balance, you know what I mean? Like, we're always working the long hours. We're always, like, on the go, working every single way we go, this, that, and the third. And, yeah, just in terms of, like, how to um, achieve balance, what I've learned is that, you know, the whole idea or rather the paradigm of balance being, like, scales and having just a little bit of everything on the scales so that um it's balanced is a myth like if you have two priorities and you want to balance between them and you put um half of each on each of the scales in order to keep it you know balanced that means you're half assing each of those priorities you know what i mean like that's what i've learned actually just in my maturity and also just um in my progression in my career and stuff that you know wanting to cut yourself into eight little pieces to cover the eight spheres of your life all at the same time is a myth like and the balance um that you are trying to achieve the strategies for that kind of balance are multitasking spreading yourself too thin 
and we all know that multitasking is not an efficient way to work like if you didn't know that then newsflash you know what i mean because if you're doing two tasks at the same time thinking that you are progressing equally in each of the tasks guess what both of the tasks are taking twice as long to finish so what i've learned is just to prioritize and with and keep the pulse you know what i mean keep the pulse on every single area of my life and prioritize accordingly and by that i just mean that you know you will stay on the pulse on something and monitor it and right before it hits the ground you'll catch it and then bring it up to a hundred percent you know what i mean like you'll prioritize it um when it's time to prioritize that thing so like i said in my last vlog that on the weekends i'm choosing to prioritize rest because this thing that i was doing where i'm resting because it's the weekend but i'm still kind of doing a little bit of work i'm neither finishing the work nor being refreshed because when i get to work on the monday i've actually been working all throughout the weekend what was the point of the weekend you know what i mean so i really kind of learned that you know what like on the weekends i should just prioritize rest because that is the most optimal time to get rest <laughs> you know and then um when it's time for work you do the work and you give your all to the work you know what i mean that's why like during the week i was going hard because it, yes it was deadlines you know what i mean it doesn't always look like that so when it's time to go hard you go hard and you prioritize that but you keep a pulse on how you're feeling in your body and um how you're holding up because if you're about to like slam the wall in burnout then you need to catch that before it gets to that point you know what i mean so you, you'll then catch yourself and prioritize rest and get fully recovered and then you know it's all like a cycle it's all a productivity like cycle it's not linear it's not um it's just the static idea of balance it's flow like it's an ebb and flow and shifting priorities um as and when required so also priorities don't remain the same at all points in time like different points of the year you'll have different priorities and also just depending on the changes in your life so that was the one thing and then you know with this question of like prioritizing rest um as you saw that like i was outside sort of thing so for me i realized also that there's different types of rest like there's the physical rest of course getting enough sleep and like if you're active getting enough rest days from your gym from your gym schedule so that your body physically recovers so that's the one thing obviously um i just realized i'm a i'm a nine hour girly not even an eight like i need nine hours and on the friday 12 hours straight bro that's when like my body really resets but not only physical rest but there's such as you know like emotional rest like spiritual rest like um creative like creativity is a form of rest which is the one thing that i wanted to talk about that i've realized or rather reflect on um that i've realized that me like creating content and stuff that's a hobby and that is a form of rest from the day-to-day -day that i do at work you know so on the saturdays like yesterday I was very busy like creating content which was great and it was a form of rest but um while i was getting my flat twists in i was editing right and you know i just started to feel like super drained super exhausted and that's when i put the phone down for an hour and i just went outside you know just went outside just be like in the sun um in the fresh air no phone read a book you know well actually like i had my phone on me obviously but then i did put it down and just was in the moment and that's like now i just feel so refreshed like i was really feeling like okay i'm gonna take a nap but i didn't want to take a nap because then my sleep would be affected this evening so by me going outside i was able to indulge in a different form of rest so as we start the new week guys just um just pay attention to yourselves just be um mindful and just reflect over like what do you need you know from a rest perspective and it doesn't it won't look the same for all of us and it won't look the same every day and actually there's different types of rest that you could be leveraging on to really um recover and rejuvenate yourself 
uh, it doesn't all have to be just like sleep and doing nothing, you know, going out and being with your family. That's a form of rest because you're changing up the environment, you're changing up the scene and you're giving a certain environment a break in order to indulge in another and that refreshes a person. So that's just some of the things that um, I've been trying to be more intentional about um, recently as I try to optimize my daily routine and I try to make sure that as much as I'm working hard, I'm really um, taking care of myself, um, making sure that, you know, this career is sustainable because I've been burnt out before. Like I, in my article years, I've been burnt out and I know what it feels like and it's actually easier said than done coming back from that um so that was a really difficult point in my life whereby I learned those lessons and where I am now yes my career is getting more demanding but I have the checks and balances this time around and I have the boundaries and I prioritize my self-care because self-care is a strategy it's not just a nice to have it's a strategy of remaining um high performing and just having a sustainable career and not like burning yourself to the ground or having mental breakdowns and all that shit that I actually used to have in the past but like I'm older and wiser now so yeah that was just um a little bit of a reflection that I wanted to share and yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out now I really need to get to editing I'm really trying to get it up tonight um have not even done my thumbnail so I don't know about that but thank you so much you guys for watching and yeah i hope to see you guys in the next vlog